My name is Ace Venom. Yes, that is my real name. I had it legally changed in 2007. I'm 32 years old. I've been here in Portland, Oregon since 2003. I am a Jedi realist. I practice the philosophies that were first introduced in Star Wars. Right now, my fiance and I are living in our truck. A while back, our rent was raised. We both have jobs, make decent money, but it's just too expensive to live in, in an apartment these days. Jediism is not about the magic trick. As part of my faith, I intentionally place myself in a position where I can help the most people at any given point in time. That's my Jedi mission. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a movie happened that I couldn't care less about. That's Ace Venom, and the force of crushing poverty is with him. He loves everything I hate. Space, magic, Portland. He calls himself a Jedi Knight, only he doesn't fight the dark side. He picks up garbage on the side of the road like a prisoner. Here's what I know about Star Wars. A teenager doesn't want to do his chores, has daddy issues, and wants to fuck his sister. <laughs> Star Wars is just a soap opera with flashlights, swords, and Muppets. It's a fake religion like Scientology. The only difference is Star Wars pays taxes and wasn't created by a drug addict. I will say it was kind of a dick move of the franchise to kill off Princess Leia and her mom at the same time. And why do stormtroopers bother wearing all that armor when they always die in one shot? Meanwhile, the real Han Solo's been crashing his plane in every golf course in Southern California. But the most unrealistic part of that movie is how quickly the black guy confessed to being the father. Still, if Ace wants to live every day like it's Comic-Con, I'll freeze him in carbonite and fly him on the Kessel Run to Hollywood in less than 12 parsecs for this week's celebrity profile. Greetings. Are you in line for the new Star Wars movie? Yes, but I've also been known to crash on the streets from time to time. Oh, the late book. Come along, R2. Ooh. I'm DT Pointo. This is my fiance, R2 Double D2. She is the droid I was looking for. Are you still homeless? No. No, actually, I'm renting a basement from some friends of mine. When did you convert to Jediism? Uh, in 2010, August 8th. Is it like Judaism? No, not really. What are you doing, uh, like, on a day-to-day -day basis to make the world a better place? Try and be friendly to people. Uh -huh. Be kind, you know? You, you also try to clean the city up. Yeah, a little bit here and there when, when I get the chance. You ever think of adding on the end of a lightsaber one of those little pickup things? Actually, I have one of those. You've thought of everything. I don't know why I thought I could come up with something that you hadn't thought of. The, that one profile piece that I saw in you, uh, you were engaged and living out of your car. Are you guys married now? No, we, we split ways, decided we were much better friends than we were partners. But did you actually get married or no? No. Oh, no. all right, so you dodged that bullet. Yeah, I sure did. Good for you. You're, are you single right now or are you dating someone? No, I'm dating someone. Okay, let's just say you're single. How soon into dating do you say, by the way, I'm a Jedi? Day one. Okay. Can you become a Jedi without having any interest in Star Wars? Absolutely. Because I am... I'm not into them. Frankly, I find the plot to most of the Star Wars movies to be a little dry. Well, if George Lucas was here right now, what would you say to him? Thank goodness you're not in control anymore. Oh, look at that neck of his. Quite the waddle he's got. Is your opinion of him uh, universal amongst Jedis? No. Some actually really like the prequels. I'm not one of them. Who's the most famous Jedi? <sighs> Probably the guy I had drinks with last night. Uh, Open the cloud. <laughs> You had drinks last night with Obi McCloud here in LA? Yeah, he lives here. Good one, guys. Let that one slip through the crack. <laughs> Obi McCloud was right under our goddamn nose the whole time. You want to hear my Yoda impression? Sure. Yoda. Y Yoda. I, 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 <sighs> what, what's something I should say is you? You should. Yoda sounds Yoda and. Yoda sounds a lot like Miss Piggy. Aren't they voiced by the same person, Frank Oz? Yeah. Fucking <laughs> head exploded. Did you know that? God damn, this nerd shit is cool. When did you lose your virginity? I was 13. Oh my God. That's way too young. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so young. Such a, such a force you had. I'm jealous.
I was so self-conscious about my, my penis. And then I also remember this guy in seventh grade <laughs> that had arguably the biggest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> Actually, I can remember it clear as day. Just, he was a good friend, just the biggest dick. It was so long, it was just hanging there. And I just remember going, I can never let him see my penis. It was, mine was so small compared to his. I, oh, I bet it's huge today. All right, enough of this penis talk. I'm gonna pretend I don't have an itch in my eye. <laughs> I would have given you all of my money and converted right there if that would have went away. Can Jedis make love longer than most? Hard to say. I assume you're a selfless lover, or is that not the case? Yeah, no, that's totally the case. Do you always finish? Woo. I'm like batting a thousand lifetime. Of course, you know, after hour three, sometimes it gets a little overly sensitive. All right. Hour three? Yeah. You make love for three hours. Sometimes. Of penetration? Usually. For three hours. Usually. That's so boring. I'm gonna put my robe on too. It always gets so cold in the theater. I'm good. <laughs> oh, all two double D two, keep it in your pants. Ace. I am your father. Good one. All right, I'm not your father. Leave your mom last night. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> This parody is flawed. I mean, I enjoy seeing characters from the original trilogy, but I'm just not sure how the storyline fits into canon. C-3PO was never even programmed to use a lightsaber. I don't need state-of-the-art graphics to enjoy a movie. A Man Called Uve was the best film of the year, and it cost $8.